Look, you've heard the expression, you only get one chance to make a first impression, right? Well, it also holds true online as well. We're gonna talk about avoiding the common mistakes in your website design that can actually drive visitors away. We'll cover how to make sure your pages load faster, making your site more mobile friendly, improving general accessibility, and also improving the quality of your content. Right, first, you need speed. Internet users aren't famous for patience, and if your page takes too long to load, they'll probably leave. There are lots of technical things that you or whoever builds your website can do to speed things up, like choosing the right technologies or hosting solutions. But there are also some simple fixes. If you have images on your pages, use the smaller ones you need. Ditch large, high-resolution files if they're only going to appear as thumbnails. Plenty of software programs can resize or actually compress images to make them smaller, and this translates to a faster loading time. Simplify your design. Generally, the more you limit what your visitors' browsers have to download and reuse, the faster the pages will load. Use the same background image across many pages and ask whoever's building your website to be efficient with code and scripts. If you want to test how you're doing, try opening the site on your mobile, using a data connection and not Wi-Fi, just to see how quickly it loads. You need to make sure your website is easy to use on a mobile. Let's be frank, more and more people are using their smartphones as their primary device to browse the web. And if your site is difficult to use on these devices, you'll potentially lose customers. The easiest way for you to have a mobile-friendly site is to build it that way from the start. You can use an approach like responsive design, which automatically detects the type of screen being used and displays the site accordingly. It does things like stacking text and photos vertically on a smartphone when it's been held upright. If you want to get a sense of whether your site is mobile-friendly, Try Google's mobile-friendly test tool, keeping in mind things like swiping or tapping, which are unique to touchscreens. Be sure the components of your website respond properly to these kinds of inputs. Use widely recognized icons. Making content clear and well-organized will help visitors using smaller screens actually find what they're looking for. You'll want to make it easy to find your address and phone number. Most devices are equipped with GPS and mapping features, which can help visitors when they're actually on the go. And of course, when they're accessing your website from a mobile, it should be easy for visitors to give you a ring. You'll also want to remember that people are viewing your site on different browsers like Chrome or Firefox, and also different platforms like Windows or Mac. Do a test run from as many computers, devices, and browsers as you can. Does your site look right on every case? Are you prompted to download plugins? This could be an extra step that may send visitors away. Lastly, remember that your website is not just for selling, it's also for solving. Imagine if you're a visitor. Ask yourself, why am I here? What am I trying to do? Or what problem am I trying to solve? For example, if you own a bakery that makes custom cakes, someone is probably visiting your site because they need one. You could write pages about your decorating style and maybe even some inspirations, but a testimonial and photos from a real life customer might be a better bet. Those are some common mistakes that trip up many websites. To avoid them, make sure your pages load quickly, look great and behave properly, no matter what device and browser a visitor uses. Think of your customers when you create content. Answer their needs and you'll have a better chance of bringing them in.